Welcome to Let's Get Writing Author Reads. I'm Catherine Taylor, and my guest today is Andy Jones. Andy, welcome. Thank you for having me. A pleasure. So this show is where we actually get to hear from authors and they read from their work. And we just recently finished an interview where we talked a little more about your writing and your work, but this is where we get to hear it. And, and you you just such a beautiful job with audiobooks, so can't wait. But tell us a little, little bit um, today what it is you're going to be um, reading. Okay, so um, it's a long story, but uh, uh, Paul Rowe, uh, who was the director at uh, Shakespeare by the Sea, uh, uh, approached me in late last year and said uh, that he would like uh, to rewrite the narrator chorus figure from a Shakespeare play, and the play is called Pericles, Prince of Tyre. And there's a character in the play called Gower, John Gower. Um, and uh, uh, this character sort of tells the audience what's going on and interprets things and acts as a kind of chorus. Um, so, um, and he said he would like to rewrite that into modern language. And so I said, yeah, okay. And he said, as a kind of, you know, a, a local person so to rewrite John Gower um, as a, you know, contemporary guy or whatever. But in actual fact, John Gower is a historically real person. Uh, and he wrote one of the first versions of Pericles, Prince of Tyre. Oh, he had a different name then, but he wrote one of the early versions of this play, of this uh, story. Uh, and it was a very popular version. Um, and, uh, and so Shakespeare brings Gower back from the dead to because he's been dead for 200 years by the time Shakespeare writes, uh, brings him back and says, um, you know, hi, I'm John Gower, I'm dead, but I'm, I'm back here to talk about this play. And so now I say, I'm John Gower, uh, you know, and here I am in St. John's Newfoundland, and I've come back to write about this play. So uh, so it's all modern language, but I, I had to do it in rhyming couplets. So every, uh, every two lines have to rhyme. And so this is John Gower, and I just jumped to the very, very end. This is the last scene of the play where he kind of sums up what he's done a bit uh, uh, during the play. Oh, wow. hear it? Yeah, I do want to hear it. <laughs> I want to hear those rhyming couplets. Take it away. Okay, they're all, yeah. Every two lines rhyme. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, so this is the final scene of Act Five of uh, Shakespeare's um, Pericles, Prince of Tyre, um, uh, the version that will be presented this summer by Shakespeare by the Sea uh, in St. John's. Enter Gower. I'm playing Gower. Uh, says, that's it. This play called Pericles is done. Our watch upon this deck has run. Thanks to you, our actors. Thanks, sky, sun, air, suspension of disbelief, Shakespeare, crew, designers, producers, and all your high imaginings of our castles in the sky. For you are the most important parts. For you, we work like toy ponies burst our hearts, dedicate our lives to learn our craft, try our best to make you laugh and cry and puzzle and think. And I know sometimes we stink, but not from want of trying or of passion, arguments and crying. Rehearsal, workshops, master classes, generally speaking, we work off our asses. I guess, what else have we in this dark cave of life apart from our puny stories and our cries from the heart? Well, thank God this story ended happily. It may not reflect most of reality. The bad were punished, the good prevailed, the right folks survived where'er they sailed. But like most stories, it presents an ideal of what things can be like for real. 
on those good days that make this trip worthwhile, which we'd not appreciate except for the trial of the bad days, the sadness, grief, death, affliction, when life is nothing but a big crucifixion. Or this play might be the seed that we all sow that brings about a change and grow into worldwide justice, equality, and hope for all. Who knows? Not I. It's outside my scope. Oh, oh uh, by the way, uh, there's a street called after me now. Huh? Yeah, it, 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 just down the hill, third left. Something else I allow. Gower Street. Oh, oh, oh. Truth to tell, main for a fair. Mine now, I don't swell. And I look at, I hope my poetry was not too shoddy. And thanks for letting me inhabit the body of this wonderful local actor and member of the art scene here, whose name I can't quite remember. His soul is here though, uh, asleep and in a dream where he's on stage with this amazing acting team. Oh, here they are, the people of the play. Give them all applause. It's their only pay. <laughs> so obviously the actors all come on to take their bow as oh, I introduce them. Yeah. That is amazing. And like I love Shakespeare. There's certain things that are in the plays that are always so, you know, sometimes breaking that bond and, and talking to the audience and, you know, that sort of thing is so fun. And um, years ago at university, I was Titania, Titania in Midsummer Night's Dream and also Miranda in The Tempest. So I was, you know, when you listen to that in like the character of Puck or something like that and this character of Gower, they really pull you in. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, yeah. it's great. Uh, it's great that, uh, um, you know, I get to make lots of local references throughout this uh, this piece, which is just great. So it's tell great. me, how long did it take you to get those rhyming couplets pulled together? Uh, oh, it was a couple of months, I guess. Um, um, yeah, a couple of months. I, I started, um, so, you know, I have, um, well, there's oh, 16 pages of stuff that I had to write for this. Uh, so um, he's, you know, he's in every act at the beginning of every act and uh, and at the end of every act pretty well. So um, um, it, it takes a lot of time, but it was it was fun. It was great fun, great fun, great fun. Great fun. Mm, absolutely. So as you said, it's kind of like the, the chorus or here's what's happening or you, you introduce and you sum it up with basically the character. Yeah. And sometimes he makes things a little clearer, I hope. And I had a chance, you know, with Shakespeare, so often you're confused in the audience, but you know, who is this character is also being played by an actor who just played another character, like, hang on, they are. So I always think the audience needs as much help as they can with Shakespeare. Oh, uh, so I like that part of it too, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And the fact that it's actually in modern language is kind of nice too, so we don't have to stretch our brains too much to figure out what was actually said and done. That's true. Uh, yeah. The um so that's on the go and that's going to be performed in front of the rooms in St. John's. In front of the rooms in St. John's. It starts in uh, July. Um I forget the exact date in July. Um but uh I can find it for you very quickly. Um and then it goes until the middle of August. Uh let me just find that uh -E -L -Y. um It won't, it won't, it won't, won't come up. Okay, anyway, anyway, it's July. Um, um, I can give you the exact dates. Um, so it, it opens on uh, Friday, July 9th, mm -hmm. and plays every Friday night and Saturday afternoon until um, uh, the 7th of August. So the 9th of July. To the 7th of August every Saturday and uh, every uh, Friday night and Saturday afternoon and I'll be sharing the role with Paul Rowe so some nights it's Paul and some nights it's me wow fantastic what do you do if it rains by the way 
<laughs> oh, they, they they cancel usually. They cancel, do they? Well, yeah. So yeah, you know, it's Paul told me that they've only ever had one year that they didn't uh, that, that they 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 had at least one cancellation. So you know that's part of the problem is that we're doing outdoor theater in Newfoundland, and it, sometimes it rains and you're halfway through the play and you just carry on anyway and unless it gets completely out of hand. And yeah. People bring out umbrellas and they hide under things and and they wear raincoats or you know people just figure out what to do and it's just it's part of the experience is the weather always. Absolutely. Always. Yeah, we're a hardy lot here, and you know the tur the tourists can learn from us if they do get to show up this summer. If not, I yep. guess what you're hoping for will be audiences that come from our province and take advantage yes. of this. Uh, yes, yeah. Who knows? By July, maybe people will start coming, but it'll be mostly local, I'd say. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to be one of them. <laughs> That's great. Okay, you'll be here in St. John's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that'll be wonderful. And um, and it's so nice also, and for people who are tuning in, if you don't know who Andy is, he's an actor, a writer, a director, um, a performer from television stage. And that's why that reading was so incredible. You really took us there. Well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Catherine, very much. Okay, folks, and if you'd like to see the interview with Andy, you can do that at Let's Get Writing, and that will be on Catherine Taylor Media on Facebook, or which is right here, or on my YouTube channel at Catherine Taylor TV. So we're trying to bring you great entertainment, bringing books to life, bringing theater to life, and creating excitement for the written word. Thank you so much for being my guest today, Andy. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.